Anyway, hello, hello again to the last chapter, I guess. What's gonna happen? The music changed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the final chapter of Ace Attorney. Two nights. What's gonna be happen? What terrible revelation will be revealed? Like my face. <laughs> anyway, let's go with this. So the time has finally come. Today, you unravel everything. Everything. <laughs> well, I count on your support more than ever, Mr. Sato. Uh, Mr. Sato? Oh, uh, aya! Ouch. Oh, no. What, what's the matter, Mr. Naruto? Why did you come? Uh, nothing. I will just say I'll be relying on your support today, but... Oh, I'm sorry, of course. I, I know I can be rather incompetent at the time, but. <laughs> I shan't land you down. Okay, thank you. You might help me meet to my feet then. Oh dear, I'm really sorry. Sato-san isn't her usual self at all. That's hardly surprising, I suppose. I just found out that her father is the partner of a world famous detective. Not to mention. Not to mention. Well, good morning, sir. Uh, what? Yukoku? Ah, uh, Vanzesk. Uh, Yukoku? Are you here? Uh, Vanzesk. What? Where did Yukoku go? Thank you for all your efforts yesterday. You are welcome, Vanzesk. What? You hear that correctly? Is that gratitude? <laughs> Is that gratitude? What? Oh, um, um, no, no, nothing. Nothing. Just, uh, I hope you can clear things after me. I really can't make this man out. His face says, I hate you, but his words are almost jovial today. <laughs> In fact, he wasn't being very Reaper-like at all since this all began yesterday. Maybe because he's not a Reaper. But what's this? Isn't a Reaper, Miss Senorito? Good boy, good boy. Yeah, that's what we try to uh, make it. The Reaper, I suppose. I suppose, in hindsight. I shouldn't have allowed that misconception to go unchallenged. Uh, uh -huh. It was my tacit acceptance of that so done. That lead to all this? My failure to stop the real becoming something more than a mere legend that lead to all this. Uh, you're not to blame for that, Lord Van Six. Only because serious crime, the capital drop off so sharply. But the public started calling you that. That's why you didn't say anything, isn't it? To be frank, I'm not sure that was the sole reason. I think he liked to be the Batman of the of, of Britain, I guess. What do you mean? It was a rumor at the time that the Reaper was really the ghost of my late brother. <clears throat> that having been slain by the evil killer. Plain, restless spirit returned as some sort of demigod to wield a deadly blade of justice where I, by dint of the law, could not. Yes, we heard that story too. When I lost him, I felt as though I lost my guiding light. You know where to go, what to do. And so, in some small way, I wonder if perhaps those rumors made you feel made me feel his absence a little less keen. And if I knew it was just an illusion, just some nonsense conjured up by the, by the novel imaginative public. It was obviously extremely important to you. Extremely. He was obviously extremely important to you. That's something that I should use. It's some of the passive aggressive, I don't know why. Uh, Lord Van Klint, ex like same as like, oh, he was extremely important to me. Lord Klint Van Sisk. Well, that's important now is in covering, uncovering the truth and all that matters. I know that you didn't take that in one's life. And I intended to prove that beyond a shadow of any single doubt in cause of day, I will prove you innocent. You know, uh, I never told you this. I can see in your eyes the burning desire to come to all the lies and deception. You are a lawyer of absolute integrity. Um, thank you. <laughs> I cannot take a compliment. Now tell me. Why do I detect the scent of expensive tea leaves in the air? 
in the air. Um, I don't know. Iris? Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> you mean Iris? <laughs> um, when you get here. Oh. Ah, um. I brought you uh, one of my special plans. I really love it. He said to help seem to kill you out here's he had. I thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, he <laughs> he. Surely the first and last time I'll ever see a site like this. <laughs> <laughs> This is different today, Iris. Uh, annoyed? Sort of a uh, subdued, I suppose. Subdued? I am not. Are you not? What happened yesterday is obviously still playing on her mind a lot. She clearly very troubled about having stolen that autopsy report from Dr. Society Laboratory. Alright then, good luck to you both. Thank you. Have to make a move now. Now? You're not staying? I thought you want to watch today proceedings. She can. I thought it was a closed case. I'd like to cheer you on, though, obviously. But I got a lot to get ready. Get ready for what? Oh, yes. Would you take this? Ah, yeah, I love it. Is that one of a little belt and those that usually dangling from your knapsack? Uh, there's a black charm. A little Hurley that I made that. Uh, Hurley. It looks like a uh, Harley to me. Ha -ha. Hurley. Ah, uh, the puns. The puns. These are puns to my light. Anyway, if for some reason you completely run out of options to trial today, then just pull these little Hurley's ears as hard as you can. As you possibly can, yeah? Uh, police, yes? You're like a rabbit fruit, that's right. Where we're in good luck, I think you might need it. Okay, thank you. You think what we'll need is luck? I just nicked a peek inside the coat. And they seem very different to normal. Yes, it will seem. And certain someone has decided to pull out all the stops. What does that mean? Someone wants you dead, man. What about Sh Mr. Showman, I wish? I don't know. It was all out the night. He didn't come home by the time I, I left this morning. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'm professor Miko Daba all the night, too. Don't you think, Mr. Mm, yes, it would seem so. I telegrammed to hotel this morning. And apparently they didn't come back to their rooms last night at all. They? Yes, they. Father and Judge Jigoku and Judge Jigoku too. Oh, triples. Ah, that's right, nobody appears to have seen either of them since yesterday. Jesus Christ. Comes to the defense of the defense, the course is about in session. Please make your way inside the courtroom at once. Yeah. Let's go then. Good luck, down, good luck, good luck, Trishy. Mm, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Are you Mr. Ribbon? I hope it goes well. Once again, thank you for the delicious tea. It was very sweet. Oh, I'm so glad. I miss the old days. Twelve years, twelve years old girl going around serving tea, expensive tea. I must go inside now, Lord Francis. Huh? Oh, but Siska's always been the formidable prosecutor. I've had the luck. Long waiting for court. But not today. Today, a battle with another. The pursuit of the truth. My bestie. Kazuma Sogi, who I trust more than anyone else in the world. Now I understand what it was that drew me here to breathe out all those months. Now I know exactly what destiny had in store for me. Been leading, leading. Up to this one day, to this one trial, to this one final wreck. My destiny. Let, let's be honest. No. <laughs> 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 
It feels even more oppressive here than it did yesterday. I guess. Oppressive. There are cold stairs piercing me like eyes from all sides today. Hmm. <laughs> Something like racism. Mr. Odo, look! Oh, shit. No strong heart. Okay, this is getting out of fucking hand. Ugh. Oh, really? Kazuma must have known beforehand. The ramification of this trial now extends far beyond the murder of one Scotland Yard inspector. In fact, events has come to light that threaten to rock the very foundations of a country's legal system. The escape of a condemned criminal on night of his execution to the subsequent unlawful shooting of the man. The revelation that prison staff must have been complicit in the jailbreak. Britain is currently hosting financial members of the judiciary from countries all around the world. It is barely that we uncover the truth in these proceedings to avoid international embarrassment. By royal decree, this will continue to be a close trial. The one over which I, Mill Strongheart, exercise total and equivocal belief. The jewel's flame just lit up. Most the case in yesterday's proceedings, those here present in the public gallery are distinguished members of our judiciary assembly to be a witness to a fair judicial process. In other words, a collection of your acolytes, Lord Strongheart. On a personal note, I find this most distressing, Norman Zex. You are a prosecutor of exceptional talent. Well, actually, your brother cleaned, in fact. Okay, for who is he? Uh, in the name of Her Majesty, the Queen, I hereby declare the court into being session. For the trial of Baron Van Six, who officially stands accused of murder. Counsel for the prosecution and the defense, are you in full readiness? Proceed. The defense is ready, my lord. As in the prosecution. Yesterday, the proceedings brought to light a shocking and disturbing fact. There was a side to the victim, expected to be a specter that was unknown to his superior, superiors at Scotland Yard. Yes, he was carrying out Operation Secret, which Scotland Yard knew nothing about. And the old clandestine operation he had an accomplice. Mr. Dalai Vigil who will be given to expect to identification and present himself around the capital in order to establish credible alibis for Gregson. In that way, Gregson appeared to be carrying out his regular Scotland Yard work when he fucked, he wasn't. And at, at the end of the yesterday's session, Mr. Beagle had been suffering from amnesia, regaining his memory. It will appear he would bury his memories for the time deep inside himself as a mean of self preservation because we least that he was engaged as chief warder at Barclay Prison, he abet the convict's escape. Mr. Vigil is currently recuperating in St. He recovered enough to give a signed statement about his movement the day prior to the incident. He's formally admitted to posing as Gregson will list investigating the ahead of the leak. Which brings us to the crucial issue of the victim's time of death. The defense yesterday proposed a suggestion that the victim may have been killed one day earlier. It was based largely on the discovery that the victim's pocket watch had not been pulled. Not been pulled? The prosecution was has something to report on a subject, my lord. Really? Go ahead, prosecutor. Uh, sorry. I mean, once again with the coroner yesterday to discuss the issue. She confirmed that the defense suggestion could not be ruled out. It's entirely possible to expect that Gregson was killed on the 31st of October, the day before his body was discovered. Interesting, Halloween. I have, a, uh, I have a, here an update autopsy report that includes the amended details. But the official opinion of the investigation team was made clear yesterday. At the time of that it was 5 pm on the 1st of November. The indication of the attempt to disguise the real time of that seems that the natural decaying process of the victim's body never been slow by keeping it chilled. That's out of the question. 
There are no refrigerator devices in the part in the part of London large enough to accommodate a human being. My lord, this is more than just conjecture. There's evidence to support the idea. Must investigate the truth. Very well. The court will accept the new report as evidence. However, if this update report is deemed to be accurate, it will give renewed significance to the movement of the victim on the day before the Fresno Street incident. It will, yes, especially since on that day. Inspector Gregson was using Mr. Regal to cover up his real movement. It's conceivable that he was killed in the course of his secret activities. It was sense that the prosecution has some information regarding those activities. Scott Yard put an enormous effort into investigating the precise matter yesterday. I think we should begin by presenting the result of that investigation. So the prosecution called its first witness now. Okay. Here you know. State your name and occupation for the court. It's better, Jean Alistra, reporting, uh, re 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 representative of Scotland Yard. A self covered rank, but never mind. <laughs> Gina again. Gina again. What? What's your problem, Eddie? Who we that? Ginny? Nikki? Lucky? Ah. The boss made the word to me. I'm not no more than for that anyone else ever did. Oh, it's Patrick Gregson, you mean? He called, he called me all the back slams of the East. Henry, Henry took me under his wing. They made their life again even purpose. And that's why I'm the best person to be standing here speaking of a ring. <laughs> oh, Gina. Alright, all out the goodness of Gregson's heart. I don't know that he had his arm twisted by his shorns. No. There are several to these proceedings that the uh, outcome of Scott and Yard investigation yesterday had revealed that the victim was carrying out some assi assignment that police knew nothing about. Very troubling. That face. No stroke counts. New. New! So I expect a less trade. Less trade? Let's hear exactly what he says in that report. Can we write out, Saya? Where is it? Oh yeah, detectives are supposed to follow Otis and uh, uh, he is basically what we are told. But the latest stage of the base office to have a neighbor that had a letter uh, secret meeting, isn't it? According to that, the boss was looking to some smuggle goods during his daddy. His lady was a big job at all, but the coppers were not it yet. What matter was a bit, but his wit was set sort a of rip out of the place too. What? Smuggle goods? I don't know, did I? Just telling me what's written in that book. Tobacco, tea, spiders, medicines. It was all sold flow in London by illegal channels from across the globe. It's well known that they are disposed of regular black markets that, they, that, that take place in the capital. But the police are rarely able to locate them in time. So Inspector Gregson was investigating one of those black markets. It's been suggested that high-ranking government officials may be involved in black market activity. No doubt Gregson was trying to avoid details of his investigation being leaked to the involved parties. <coughs> that would explain why he was operating on his own authority without a yard's knowledge. And do we know where the dealings were taking place this time? In particular, the room of a certain exclusive London gentleman's club. On the day in question, the accused is known to have been there. That's the conclusion of Scotland Yard investigation into the matter. That can be. I heard anything about any of this. Members of the club have testified to it. There's no question. The accused Baruch Van Six was present. That will be very significant testimony, though. Oh my, what? What? Oh, Van Six was says man, no mention of this at all. In short, Van Six had ample opportunity to murder the victim. Yesterday. Very well then, Council for Defense, begin your cross examination. No, I'm sorry, thank you. Uh. Hold it! 
Well, my dicks was at the club. <laughs> Pardon? Yes, he was. Did I think we visit the club yesterday to make Grisha confirm it? Do you remember the board having seen the accused being admitted to a room in question as a guest? Hmm. Looks like there is no disputing that he was there then. Well, we know that Lovan Zisk was investigating Inspector Gregson, don't we? Yeah. Perhaps he actually discovered the Inspector's secret notebook. Which led him to the club, you know? Maybe. Presumably there... Then there is an also eyewitness who can testify that Gregson was there too. No? Not have been identified at the time, no. Really? So, the only important victim wasn't seen at this mysterious club. Boy, why didn't you ask Inspector Lestrade, eh? So that's all we got to work with. She not us holding back with the ice cold stare of hers, is she? I really don't know what to make of all of this. Well, Ziz told us uh, that he was investigating Inspector Grex. Wait, did we forgot that we got attacked by a dog? <laughs> anyway, uh, but he never once mentioned that he met the Inspector the day before the incident. I think Lovan Ziz could have been lying to us, too. Rather than lying, he didn't think it was relevant, maybe. It's not the only way to explain this. The only thing Lovan Ziz has told us is true. There must be a mistake in this testimony somewhere. You mean there are details we yet to uncover? Exactly. A clue perhaps that even Gina hasn't noticed. That's what we should be looking for here. Hold it! Do you have any idea where those dealings were taking place? Yep. It's all the air in the bus notes. Okay. Let's see if I can remember. As I already said, illegal dealings were due to take place at the gentleman's club. Yes, I remember, but I was hoping to find out the name of the club. That won't be necessary. What? Is it conceivable that a card might be used again by the smugglers in the future? Therefore, the prosecution has been asked not to reveal the name in these proceedings. Oh, okay, I do not want to the bosses bait. Alright, yeah, now God is do its read the date. And I could too. Got his reading game, but I'm name. Can I show you what I can do? Gone. What? What's the arm? The judge has a signal his affection yet. We'll try to find out. What should I do? Insist! I want to know the gentleman's club. This Mycroft club. Uh, this is a closed court. The proceedings are confidential. There shouldn't be any possibility of the information being leaked. As I explained, there is some possibility of a politician being involved in this affair. Pollution is a rightfully exercising caution, I imagine. No, my lord. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry. No, my lord, the precision has no objections. <laughs> Kazuma? <laughs> Kazuma? There's no question that I expect of Gexon. Was looking to split market dealings. However, he's not yet been established that he was on that particular trail that day in question. If the defense requires to know the club's name, the prosecution has no intention of being obstructive. Right then. Get the show off. Reading. Reading skill. Okay. And it says, Muggle of Goods was gonna happen a gentleman club. The Groos. The Groos? 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 The Groos? The Groos? The Groos? Oh, it looks like this is some sort of steamship ticket. That says Groos, first class cabin 001. Yokohama departure, 11 September. On arrival, 1st November. Unless the boat of Professor Mikotowe and Judge Chikoku came out from Japan, isn't it? Well, I think it's called. Uh, I think it called that Durkan, Dunkirk, on the north coast of France. The night before finally arriving in Dover. I think it's been almost a year since I arrived at the Dover SS Bureau. It's been a shame not to keep your ticket as a memento of your trip, don't you think? Yes, I agree. My safely my diary. I gave mine my wallet. Have it with me all that old times. Oh, well, how strange. Where could I have gone? Are you like... Are you like this on purpose, Mr. Naruto? Can you imagine it? What's that comment that comment about a little sick? A little sick indeed. 
Objection! What about this club that exists here in Britain? As I understand, their place where well to do, gentlemen, socialize with friends and colleagues. I imagine for a second that a foreign student like you will be admitted. Ouch. Seriously, is your mirror cracked or something? Do we know for sure that the contraband dealings were definitely happening at the club called the Groove? The police are currently looking for evidence, but haven't found anything definitive yet. And I'm sorry to say that they probably won't. What do you mean by that? I mean, the place is Petro Gregson was secretly going to visit on the 31st of October. May not have been a gentleman club at all. You're showing, you're showing a very irreverent attitude towards our country's police force there, Council. If it was a gentleman club, then what was it? A steamship. You think it's a ship? I have the evidence to prove it. Here. Okay. I was waiting for the music. I was... Okay. Let me see that. You stuck shooting your man is not the least bit on the Uh... The other side, my lord. Be more specific next time. <laughs> I used to look so pissed. Appear to be a ticket for a passage upon a steamship. Yes. It says Groove. Objection! So there is a steamship named the Groove that happens to share a name with a clown. But I'm afraid to say, there's a flaw in your logic there. I agree with that. How? Look at the ticket. There is the date of arrival in port. She might arrive at Port Dover the 1st of November. Aha! The day on which the song Like a Gunshot was heard on the press. In other words, on the day in question here to 31st October, when the victim was on his clandestine mission, the ship hadn't yet docked on the British shores. I will certainly make an uncover under current investigations of how the Objection! The fact that the steamship hadn't yet reached Britain substantiated the defense assertion that the victim was investigated as SS Cruz on the day in question. And show your evidence for that assertion. Very well. Do we have it? Wait, do we? The case comes over the defense, present your evidence to the court now. When does it say the claim that the victim was investigated? The... Uh, oh, right. We never... Oh, there's more. Look at this dark thing in here, do you think? Yes, I'm afraid so. I think it's blood. And we're going to say it as I presume it means. This was present, uh, this was present at the scene when his petal was killed. It's the most logical conclusion, yes. I think Gina's been carrying this around. If you didn't know any better, I suppose it does look like a grease thing from the fish and chips. Can we open this? Actually, I was curious. Some spoiler. Let's have a look inside. Look, there is something inside. Uh, let's see, it appears to be a passport. Authorizing him to travel over here. We expect her about to go on a trip of route. Perhaps the day of departure might tell us something about Oh, what is it? This was for travel on the 31st of October, just one day before the incident. What? Really? Passport has been entered the call record. Person went to French the day before his body was discovered. Was he killed on the boat? What is this? A possible for travel issued to the victim? They did the 31st. What you're suggesting? I'm suggesting that just one day before the inspector's body was discovered. There's a distinct possibility that he wasn't even in the country. That's weird. It's very weird. I feel like Kazuma knew a lot more than his life to share. For me, too much. Order! This document is for passage to France. There's a bit of being officially authorized. The day before SS Cruz arrived at the Dover, dock on the northern coast of France for a night. According to my father, who was on board at the port of Dunkirk. Dunkirk, French. What could possibly have been taken the victim there? 
So he was a, he was already not in Britain at that point. I'm impressed, Rinosuke Naruto. That was um, Kazuma Love. I certainly expect you to get your hands on that passport. You mean you knew about this? Yeah. I had the feeling he knew it. The persecution strategy for this trial had been laid down by the Crown Prosecution Office. On the day before the incident, the victim was investigating contraband dealings along the line. So he was, uh, he already reached French. What he has to do? There's out of Scotland Yard investigation and the line to prosecution has been asked to follow. But personally, I don't agree. I think the prosecutor office is trying to hide something. What? And now that you are us expertly disproving their assertion in time to reveal what I believe that something to be. What are you playing at, Prosecutor Sogi? A courtroom is a forum for the truth, my lord. Which is why it's my duty to present all the facts, without exception. Let me guess, it was your intention from the outset, wasn't it? There is Inspector Gregson. Secretly made his way to the steamship docked in France on the day in question. Was to flee? Was to carry out a mission for the Reaper. The Reaper? Why there's somebody in French? Ole? Ole? What on earth are you saying, Council? The prosecution made an assertion and called yesterday. Hmm. Inspector Gregson was investigating the entity of the Reaper when he discovered the location of the man's secret hideout who was killed. And I'm sure everyone can imagine by the Reaper's hand in but in reality, the truth is opposite of that. Oh, you're playing that? Interesting. Inspector Gregson wasn't investigating the Reaper at all. He was, in fact, acting for the Reaper. So you're saying the mission he was undertaking was? Obviously, an assassination. Oregon 6 never carried out any of the actual killing. Whenever the Reaper victim lost their lives, he always had a cast iron alibi. Which tell us he must have an accomplice. And you claim that it was Inspector Gregson. What were you all thinking you are saying, eh? My boss? Whatever I done, I feel like it. And yet, when considering all the facts, it all makes better sense. But to kill who? You mean the, 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 the scientist? It can be. I thought you went to jail. That's the doctor friend. He also arrived at the same conclusion, didn't he? The Inspector Gerson was operating as the Reaper. Even so, there is no way the person giving him his orders was all about six. No, the Reaper is somebody else. Ooh. 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 Baragman Six, not the Reaper. A predictable response from someone who is advocating for the man. And yeah, I agree with that statement too. And if, it, if it's true, Gregson was operating as an agent of the Reaper. The suggestion that he went about the SS Grouse on an assassination mission doesn't fall at all. Oh, you have some solid reason for that doubting the assertion, do you, Council? Absolutely. It's very simple. In the main question, nobody was killed aboard that stitch. Hmm. The fire so got my judge go over the parachute. If someone has been assassinated, I'm certain you will have heard about it. Maybe you got stolen in the fridge. <laughs> I love like, like what Kazuma like, Pfft. What's so funny? Yeah, right, of course. No suspicious deaths were reported on the board of the ship. But, I think perhaps you missed the point. And precisely why Spectre Gregson himself lost his life. So he got shot, he got hide in the fridge. What? Gregson did both as his growls that night, with the intention of dispatching his mark. But his mission ended in failure. Yeah. It seems that the defense hasn't yet grasped a very important detail here. What are you talking about? What detail? It's better, Gina Lestrade. Uh, you, what? The victim notebook? Can you read an, an expert, an ex excerpt? An excerpt from an excerpt? It doesn't contain details of the secret investigation tool. Describe 10 years of assassination plots to be carried out by the Reaper of the Bama. 
Ah, uh, you're lying. Even all the bludger won't go to the other egg come in it. The boss went into Reaper? There is no question that Tobias Gregson was heavily involved in the Reaper's activities. You may just be an apprentice, but he's... If you're absent any time as Cotton Yard, you must have heard rumors. I, I ain't hear nothing. I don't believe you're aware of it. I testify again as a representative of Scotland Yard. Consider it your chance to defend your boss. I... I don't... I concur the witness will give a new formal testimony. Mr. Lestrade, you will tell the court everything you know about Inspector Gregson's secret notebook. Yeah, it is no clue does have a lot of state about what Prepper got up to these past 10 days. Name of victims, dates and places and stuff, and the last entry, that was the 31st October. It said goose for the place with the date and then the name of the man. The name? It was not about him being a criminal who got away from the Reaper in court 10 years ago or summit. But honest, the boss didn't come to it. He was, he was, he was just investigating the Reaper, that's all. I would like to know the name. Keep us an opinion out of your testimony, witness. We require only established fact here. This must be hard for her. You can't deny it now, surely, Ryosuke Naruhudo. What can I not deny? The notebook contains the name of the final mark, and the location where the assassination will take place. That's information that the victim could only have known. He was working with a reaper. Ah! Oh, right, fuck the letter. So, who was to, uh, to be hit his final mark? Go ahead, Inspector Estrella, read the name of the court. The name of the Briton Alloy site entry that matched the goose of the 31st of October. Eh? Oh, um. How do you read this then? We really still all her strong suits. And probably right, okay? It's a funny name, it ain't English, it's hard to read. Someone from overseas? Let me have a bash of it. See. See, Shiro, is it? Say Shiro. Say Shiro. Jiko ku Say Shiro. Jiko, okay to you, okay, maybe. What? It, it can be. Say Shiro, Say Shiro, Jiko ku but that's the Judge Jigoku. Say Shiro Jigoku, certainly not an English name. Though. Objection! But that can't be right. I know Judge Jigoku. I saw him the day before yesterday. He's in London. I know for a fact that the man who hasn't been assassinated. As I said, the Reaper failed. Oh. Gregson missed his chance to kill his mom. He returned to British shores. But the Reaper wouldn't tolerate the mistake. So he killed the Spectre. Personally. The Reaper, of course, being accused. Baroque Francisks. It's an undeniable logical argument. Cut. The plan for the trial to go this way or not. Hold it! But he never. How? Wow. You have caddies of wine and you still can slam your humongous leg on the thing. <laughs> Pray forgive the discourtesy of feeling my hallowed chalice, or at least I stand accused of murder. Uh, no one's it? The accused has no right to speak uninvited in court. We return to the dock. I said nothing whether or not I'm to read her. Um, that's the task of this court to decide. But there is one thing I can say unequivocally. He never prosecuted him. That girl is not detective. Uh, what? Nah, that's right. I ain't. I'm an inspector. <laughs> Repeating rumors heard around the yard reading entries from Nobu of her unconfirmed origins. That's not testimony. It's a practical script. No doubt the rest of this trial will go exactly as you clearly planned. 
Your hater of me is understandable. In your mind, I'm sure I am to Reaper. Who we'll sent your father to the gallows all of those years ago? But you in danger of becoming a far more sinister Reaper yourself. By attempting to have me condemned with this feeble excuse for testimony. What did you say? Mr. Rudeau, this is our chance. I don't know, Chancer! Chancer. My lord, the defense requests that the defendant be allowed to speak. He may be privy to important information relating to the testimony just given by the witness. Okay. Very well. You will make an exception and grant the request. The defendant may remain in the witness stand to a cross examination. Now allow me to toast to the cause impartiality. Now raise your glass in your direction, sir. Counsel for defense begin the cross examination immediately. At once, my lord. Hold it! In other words, he shows that Gregson was basically acting as the Reaper. Not you all and all, it ain't the only explanation, is it? I could have been investigating the Reaper in secret and then nobody said what a one find it. If I may. Why what? When originally people began referring me to me as the Reaper, I didn't object. Believed the power to in intimidate the London's criminal classes into compliance with the law to be beneficial. But you carried out your own investigation into true identity uh, into the true identity of the Reaper, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes, and that uh, was investigation proved conclusive. Conclusively, that Gregson was one R of the Reaper. One R? What have you heard about? The Reaper's victims were all extremely shrewd criminals at the top of their game. There's simply no way one person had taken them alone alone. The Reaper is an organization. With you at his head? <laughs> I had spies at the yard keeping on me abreast, abreast of Gregson movement, letting me know when he was elsewhere. So he's been able to check the most recent entry in his book and knew the location. Okay. You knew it said Rouge? You knew? Believing to be the reference to the gentleman's club, he went there on the day in question to investigate alone. Uh, so that explained why several members of the club claimed to have seen you there. But of course, the inspector was not there, because at the time he was making his way to the steamship dock on the north coast of France, as shown by the passport for the victim's medal friend. Why did he attack me? Very well then, back to your testimony about the contents of this notebook. Fine. Something wrong, Mr. Rudeau? You seem a little shocked by something a moment ago. Oh, uh, no, it's alright. I'm already thinking this. I don't think so. Hold it! Hmm. Names of victims, dates, place, and stuff. What in particular? Well, besides the victim names, these other names keep cropping up. Oxlachine? Oh, what other name is that? It's the only. Uh, it's the one that I told you oh, the names I read all over again. Yeah, you mean. Oxlachine? Oh, yeah, that one. She's a friend of yours or somewhat, isn't she? <laughs> Are you even listening yesterday? Asashi, the assassin. They might be trying. What? Like tequila? You mean? Gresson was the tactician. <laughs> I just watched the the uh, anime called uh, Kobe. Kobe, my boy Kobe. Kobe. Uh, style of my Chinese tactician. Uh, it's funny. Uh, the one who Kobe son. Uh, the one came up with the plan of attack. Investigated the marks truly, finding out uh, when uh, they will be more vulnerable and who they use to get at them. Mm. But the person actually executing his plans was someone else, you're saying. But that's true, that the Reaper does intend to start to sound like an organized group of vigilantes. Perhaps what is said on the passport document? Permission to application one additional person to travel. Could an additional person have been Hashashin? Clearly, the assassin who was meant to take safe your Jukuku life. Now, Gina, can you confirm that? Guess the final entry that lists a Grouge Hashashin or Jukuku. 
a name was written. Oh, well. Small entry that didn't have a name next to it. If that happens. What? It, it's just like a question mark or summon there, I think. In other words, Gregson himself didn't know the identity of the assassin in that case. But Gregson was the main... Making the plans was he not? Wasn't Gina the additional person? Uh, anyway. really worse, miss. Ah, uh, I'm forgetting. A nameless assassin. Is that really what it is? Hold it! Are you saying that the man listed was Seishiro Jikoku? That's what I said! Funny name, if you ask me. It is a funny name, by the way. Even in Japan, I think. It's, I don't know Sh Seishiro, but Jikoku means hell. I thought your name was odd. You don't call someone hell. Uh, or the Japanese hell, whatever the hell it means. So please, to have lost my crown. Mr. Jigoku is the presiding judge of Japan Supreme Court of Judicature. I remember that name. Uh, the, man, the man came out of the country as a visiting student 16 years ago. Studying international law and diplomacy under your tutelage, long strong heart. The, uh, the bearded young fellow was a very able man, I must say. So long Strata was a judge was Judge Goku's mentor. If I'm not mistaken, he returned to Japan ten years ago now. Ten years ago, after that fatal case. Precisely. In the aftermath of the Professor case, his repatriation was organized immediately. It's a mystery why such a man will be listed in the Inspector notebook. I didn't think it was possible, but the mood in the air got even worse now. Maybe I'll just keep talking. It's kind of worse. Hold it! What do you mean, criminal? Judge Gogo is not criminal! Well, don't ask me. I know nothing about it. Do you remember what Father told us? Judge Gogo did once appear in court here in Britain. It was related to the Professor case, I'm sure. Yes, of course. You're right. Seishiro was trying to mitigate Genshi's guilt, so he took to the stand to testify, but he got a little carried away and actually managed to break the witness stand. So he got to for contempt, yeah. Perjury? What about the British Empire for which he was charged? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the kingdom! <laughs> it was a pitiful situation, yes. I forgot at all about it, but I prosecuted at that trial too, as it happens. You did? It was considered to be a adjunct to the professor proceedings, you see. But he was acquitted after being told to make a reparation for the damage caused to the stand. And there you have it! And what? To reap her? Curse. Surely the accused had forgot his own rule. That there is no saving anyone who faces the reaper in the call guilty or innocent alike. What? No! <laughs> what? No! Are you suggesting that the reason Judge Jigoku was targeted for assassination, the name was sent back to Japan immediately? The reaper had no time to do his work. But then, ten years later, the mark returns to Britain once more. Perhaps now you start to see just how vindictive the Reaper is. Come on, that's absurd. Take someone else's life or that? Is it the whole premise of the Reaper's absurd? Killing those who have been found innocent? Kill the rules by which the man's operates are beyond the same person's comprehensions. But... Right, I have just about it after this. Gina? All this nonsense about the boss planning to kill people is clubless. Come on, Eddie! Yes? Why ain't you saying nothing? Why? Why ain't you yelling at objection? Oh, shamat? What? We got to find a flu. We do, usually. Don't lie in here. No question, you gotta work out with this. Please, what a boss. That outburst was an insult to the court of your own testimony. Gonna go. You might have known that a common pickpocket from the backslam couldn't make a detective. 
When this trial is over, you will forfeit your wild card, Miss Lestrade. Is that clear? I've had it with it all, yeah? Guys, every bleeding place you're looking this word in it will be heavy enough. Gina. So have I, after that little speech with Gina, I've made up my mind. To do what, Mr. Naruto? I was one point at this cross examination, and something that was sad just didn't sit right with me. A statement that seemed odd. Hmm. What do you mean? I'm not going to let Gina plead for help. Fall on deaf ears. Hold it! I want to thank you, Gina. You helped me find my resolve. Eh? What do you mean? Uh, amongst everything we heard during this cross examination, there's one thing that defies explanation one inconsistency. An inconsistency? Really, other? I don't quite know what it means yet, but. Yes, there is an inconsistency in something that was said by. Okay, so I'm guessing it is Jesus! something related with. Uh, with the fact that he never leave anyone alive. But uh, Gina is still alive. This is what he's saying. But you, Kazuma, Asoge. Is this some attempt of fairly bustering counsel? Prosecutor Asoge has given no testimony. What are you suggesting I say that was, that was inconsistent? You let something slip that you shouldn't have. And I presented Evelyn a piece of evidence and magic you realize what you've done. Very well then, counsel. Go ahead. What evidence that reveals the alleged consistency? Uh, 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 uh. You serious? We've seen this huge gush across the side of the trunk here. It's gone right through the ladder and into the metal behind. Gosh, for a metal chest like this to have been so badly damaged. The metal gush must have struck the side of the trunk with considerable force. I don't know how did it happen. Is that a bullet? And I have a look inside. It's my fault. I should examine it. I forgot to examine it. <laughs> You see that? There's something stuck in the side of the trunk there and it's gliding. Looks like a fragment of metal of some sort. Swatchels died that they can't remove it. Well, don't cut yourself. You better leave it. It. Take that! This is a trunk that belonged to Inspector Gregson. The metal construction, is it? Uh, certainly very heavy. Oh, uh. Anyway, um, I think it's uh, something related with the things that I said beforehand, that there was an additional person. And if you recall, uh, uh, how is it called? Um, he, he, the inspector was trying to help Gina to go to French, to a boy to get killed, uh, to let Gina get killed. Mm, what's this, Blostein? A relative Frenchman, too. What? You, you mean the angries from all the boss fish and chips? Fresh blonde inspector of trunk. They suggest that the victim was thrown with her luggage when he was killed. That can be. There was no... Sorry. Ah, I'm doing a mess. I'm doing a mess. Such as the victim thrown with her luggage when he was dead. That can be. There was no mention of any trunk. He's caught on a yard as a port. There's uh, a reason for that. Immediately after the inspector body was discovered, the sea peddlers made off with the trunk. Hope me to sell it again. But I found it! Me with me nose for trouble. Hmm. Which means that nobody should have known anything about the trunk. Unless, of course, we're talking about somebody who was present when the victim was killed. And yet, during the cross examination of the witness, just now you said this cousin. Because at the time he was making his way to the steamship dock on the northern coast of France. And sure by the passport found the victim's metal trunk. No way! So the question is how do you know about the Spectre trunk? He used Ku Karuma? We know that the man went to trip to French. 
What else will we have to put these? Objection! But you knew it was metal trap. Answer me honestly, Katana. On the 31st of October, where exactly were you? At the port of Dunkirk, on board the SS Cruise. Is that the answer you're looking for, Ryonsuke? Katsuma, what did you... Okay, then. Fuck! Uh, okay, I hadn't considered the possibility before, but... If Katsuma was on the ship, then... It can only have been the one pass. I don't understand, though. Surely... Surely you don't think... <laughs> Come on, Ryonsuke. You know the rules. The only thing that really talks in the courtroom is how that happens. As I understand, Inspector Gregson always took that case with him when he drowned. So as he stands, you prove nothing. Can't Are you challenging me to prove it beyond all reasonable doubt? As you were that day, the same place at this point. He, he was there with Gregson? The clue that you've overlooked. The secret that Trunk can tell us. Can you sure at this point? I'll need to verify it. I have the nasty feeling that I'm going to be right. The cues of being made is definitely disturbing, but nevertheless, we must test it. The defense will identify for the core wearing the trunk if this alleged clue is to be found. Got it! Is this your proof? What do you say to that, Mr. Personally? I think he's trying to laugh fuck off. Ah, Mendoxai! 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 Ah, that door can open, I guess. You see that? There's something stuck. It turned the bleeding. Looks like fragile metal. It's wet or sick of it. Yeah. Got it! Is it? Yeah? Got it? You got it? Okay. <sighs> There's a small piece of metal lodged into the wall of the trunk here, like the tip of a blade. A blade? Kazuma, slung around your waist as ever today. It's the steam blade karma. Of course it is. Won't you draw it here in this courtroom for all to see? Exercise caution, my learned friend. That man. Is the son of a London's most notorious killer. Balef, watch Prosecutor Soggy like a hawk. That won't be necessary. Oh no. The tape is broken. If the fragment of the matter from the trunk fits together with the end of the suit. The question of who was there with Inspector Gregson will be answered. Agreed, Kazuma Sogi. So he was the additional guy. Excellently done, Grimson. That's the point to you, and well deserved. You mean to tell the co prosecutor Sogi? Yes, on the 31st of October, I accompanied Inspector Gregson to Dunkirk in order to carry out a mission. So the additional person authorized to travel was me. And the mission was the assassination of the monk. What? Why? Why? The killer whose name was omitted from this notebook? You're following the rebel's order to dispatch Judge Jikaku? You were falling in the river. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I have killed no one. Explain. Except the assassination mission, yes. And I called me Gregson to Dunkirk. But I never had any intention of carrying out the plan. You were never going to do it? We can't believe Katsuma mission. After all, Judge Jikoku arrived safely in London the following day. On the 31st, I boarded a train from London with Inspector Gregson. We traveled to Dover from where we crossed the channel. To Dunkirk, and we boarded the SS Cruise and made for the cabin deck, as indicated in the plan. You went to Judge Jigoku cabin? Except. 
He wasn't there though, we decided to wait, but he already told us he had no intention of going through with it anyway. I didn't come to Great Britain to, make, to take anyone's life, so I left Gregson and his empire the ship. I spent the night at a boarding house in the town and returned to England the following morning. A boarding house in Dunkirk. My signature will be in the registered book. It's simple enough to verify. Then, what became of Jigoku? Gregson was no assassin, so the mark was paired. I'm sure it's easy enough to imagine what happened after that. Gregson returned to England as well, having failed to complete the mission. He met with a rebound in the room of Fresno Street to report a failure, causing the infuriated mastermind to pull the trigger. And even his wretch agents. There's someone next. There's the real truth behind Inspector Gregson, the murder. Objection! But if you did. Nothing as you claim. How did the tip of your sword come to the lodging to expect a trap? Yeah, you must have drawn the sword. I don't need to answer that. The victim was killed by a gunshot. The small fragment of a Japanese blade is irrelevant to that case. And accordingly, I choose to exercise my right to science on that matter. And that has made the court will sequest the sword as evidence. As you wish, my lord. Must take immediate action now. To verify, but the Seishiro Jikoku remains unharmed. What? Remains unharmed? I agree. That should be our first priority. It's recently come to my attention that he hasn't been seen, seen since yesterday. So yeah, he, he disappeared. How did you? When a foreign dignitary invited a great bit and goes missing for 24 hours. It's only natural to the question of the safety should be arise. You don't mean to say... Do you think Judge Goku has been killed? The Reaper has more than one assassin at his disposal, and he has the power and influence to give orders from the inside as a, of a prison cell. Isn't that right, Lord Van Zisks? If I were to the Reaper, I'd be able to tell you. Order order into cool order. We will take an emergency recess for 30 minutes. Now, guests of the symposium have been told to maintain a regular contact with the organized office. If the man can be located within a half an hour, we'll have to assume the worst. No, not Judge Jikoku. No one will want to kill a harmless Japanese man who only just arrived in the country. Except, that is, for the Reaper. Wanted to finish off a mark that slipped through the, <laughs> to the net ten years ago. We'll have to agree. Mr. Naruto, what the defense say? My lord. I sincerely hope we are successful. If you are unable to confer to Mr. Jigoku's healthy existence in the next 30 minutes, we will face grave difficulties. Ah. Uh, uh, Code is adjourned to 30 minutes. Kazuma. To be assessing the first authority is a nightmare. I can hardly believe it either, but on the other hand, Kazuma isn't the habit of making up stories. That was such a terrible sense of foreboding. If something awful has happened to Judge Jigoku, then I feel I'm told that things will only spiral further, further out of control. I felt it from the moment it stabbed into the courthouse this morning. The strange sensation were care caring towards the foregone conclusion. Well, in the worst case, we might only have 30 minutes left. Unfortunately, though, I don't think there's anything we can do about wait now. There are other options. Actually, maybe one last hand we can play. Or rather, one last year. Oh, uh, of course. A little Mr. Sholmes, all the Iris gave us. Okay. So for some reason you completely run off the law object the trial today and you just pull the hurl his ears as hard as you possibly can. He's a special signal thingy. That's now it's the time. What should I do? Pull Earl's ear out. Pull it! God damn it! Here it goes, I'm going to do it. Let me see. 
Not looking bad. Hee It's funny if you pull it, it just sounds like um, the anti-rape sound, you know? It's like... <laughs> uh, if you know what I mean. That would be uh, so fucking funny. Oh! That scream. Sounded like Mr. Sholmes. Mr. Sholmes? Where are you? Here, my dear fellow. Here! It's the foul doll talking. Pull the ears again, Mr. Doe. As hard as you can. Alright then, I'll pull my strength away. Hee <laughs> Ow, please, please. Please, my dear fellas, you don't need to pull the, my ears off. Mr. Sholmes, where, where, where are you? Myself and my trusty partner. I represent the first class cabbie of the SS Grouge. The SS Grouge? Uh, she left over last night after the final piece of cargo were loaded. You're cold, the dog. I don't cook, but due to the underweight gain, again in half an hour. You take a sheep to French? France? Uh, please, even with my athletic prowess, I will struggle to jump the street of the door. Okay. After we left Baker Street last night, we hurried by camp to the station and by train to the port. In order to board this vessel in time. So you mean you already worked it out? That the steamship was where everything really took place. It's not oh, great. What is my name? Hello, Jones. More famous great detective! Decided to perfection. Well done. You're a genius, Mr. Shomes. <laughs> There's only word for it. Ow, 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 ow! Mr. Sato, gentle with his genius ears, please. Oh my, I'm very sorry. If I may, Shomes. Aha! Uh -huh. There you are, Mikotoba. You may remember that he, he was, in fact, I who made the connection to the SS Group. I spotted a yard yesterday when we examined that notebook and recalled my steamship. Ha 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 ha! But of course, it was my dear fellow. No once did I controvert that fact. We had our cool bound companions out of my name. Yes, you did, didn't you? We just sent a uh, rest recess to try receiving 30 minutes from now. We're unable to rest my new, uh, any new leads then, I'm afraid to say. No, oh, Fred, please, it's for precisely that purpose that my partner and I have made this journey. I've no doubt that we shall have come welcome news for you within half an hour. Thank you, Mr. Sholmes. Uh, that will be wonderful. You found Jigoku, I think? Are they looking for Jigoku? Yes, you'll be bearing from us if you are not in touch first. Ow, 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 ow! Can you carry anything if you keep stuck in my ear in the <laughs> that manless function? Whatever was the idea behind making our receiver operator in that way in the first place, Jones. I deduce what I know. It's our invention, not mine. Why, I already invented the telephone. Well, at least I know how much you enjoy being the hero of the hour, Jones. You have but a half, uh, but a half that now before the Grouge puts to sea again. We don't conclude our investigation rapidly, we shall find ourselves in Naples before long. Hmm, terrorize Mikotoba when you make a surprise amount of sense. So let us begin. Oh, first class cabin number two. Yes, this is the one. I don't believe the investigation of the cabin is going to be plain slayer. Hello? The man standing in front of the door is an angry looking fellow. Why are you lottery me? Where are you? <laughs> My dear fellow, do you not recognize both famous great detective when you see one? The question really ought to be, what are you? Holmes? You not recognize world traveling great seller? Taking a strong enough when you see? Great detective, ha! I don't think so. Why has Sholmes written down? You see that, Mikotoba? It will appear that this man is a devoted follower of mine. Goodness me, is that at the two? Shones? I must say, uh, well, this is such adoration, it's flattering naturally. It does leave me a little cold. What the talk the belt? Leave now! Mm, how distressing my loyal devotee knows. Me only by name and known by my appearance. Yet I really know a great deal about you, sir. It must be him, right? You have a brother, I believe. Like yourself, he's a shipman. Where did you tell me the word about the Russian steamship in fact? It, how cool! How old you near this? Okay, elementary. My dear Mikotoba, I'm sure you will. 
few days ago I was bound for London aboard the ship, you see. We're looking for one of my fellow passenger, a, name by, uh, a man by the name of Jigoku. There is no one with his name aboard. We know that he purchased a ticket for passage. The Ichigoku came to realize you mean Mr. Yasnarmian. He left ship two years ago. He had to care his son about emergency. What? Are you sure? So she so realized that, he, that we are after him? Has he? His cabin is the one behind you. Should I would like to investigate, please? Wait, why he's running away from us? No, I have orders to let any uh, even mouse inside. You got Oba? You're a good man and draw out his sailor's stand, shall we, would you? I can have some excuse so that he leaves the island. That's a great detective see that even sailor have years go left and right. Curses! That plan is ruined. You have only yourself to blame, I'm afraid, Jones. Forget it! Cabin door locked! Even if I am not here, you cannot get inside. I'll be the judge of it. Because Oba, I'm sure you haven't forgotten my special tire, have you? Yes, open here, any lock. You didn't have a second. Maybe you should be so kind to afford me the requisite time, old friend. How many typical are accommodating, man? What are you such a typical unappealing request, old friend? So I need to distract the bully sir for five seconds. Do I? Oh man, so the game is afoot. Wait, were we actually playing? Uh, anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the episode right now, right here. It appears we actually went directly to chapter, the next chapter. Or maybe not. How does that help? Uh, we're gonna keep going anyway. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the another episode. We are playing as Mikotaba, our lovely assistant. And we're gonna hear, uh, try to figure out how to help our Sherlocky friend. And we're gonna see you again very, very soon. Good lovely bye.